Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Becky Fiddler and I'm here to give you another muscle functions video. So this time I go, I chose to go over the pectoralis minor muscle. I will go over the location of the muscle, which includes the origin and insertion of the muscle, followed by functions and exercises for the muscle. So to start off, we're going to go over the location of the muscle. The pectoralis minor is a deep muscle to the pectoralis major muscle. Okay, the pectoralis major being the big chest muscle, the pectoralis minor being the smaller chest muscle behind that major muscle. Okay, so we're looking at the origin or the start of the pectoralis minor being on that third, fourth, and fifth anterior surface of the ribs. Okay, so we're looking about mid chest and then it inserts through that shoulder to the caracoid process of the scapula. Okay, so it's kind of like a triangular shape and then it inserts onto that caracoid process of the scapula. So as far as the functions go, we're looking at functions of the scapula. And for the scapula, the pectoralis minor abducts, or also known as protraction of the scapula. It also helps with downward rotation of the scapula and it also does depression of the scapula. So as far as the movements of the scapula, we're looking at, for abduction, we're looking at pulling away from the spine, okay? That's also known as protraction. For downward rotation, we're looking at the top moving out while the bottom moving in. That is downward rotation, okay? Now, whenever the pectoralis minor abducts the scapula, you also see the scapula slightly pull away from the body as it pulls up. Also, when it abducts, you're going to see a slight downward rotation because as it pulls that caracoid process forward, it's going to pull the bottom out and down a little bit. And then as far as the pressure goes, you're looking at downward, pretty much a sliding movement from its normal position down. So it's like pushing your shoulders downwards. Okay, and you'll see that in more of dips. So whenever the scapula is abducted, you're going to see the pectoralis minor help it depress. So if it's abducted, you're going to see it help it depress. Okay, so as far as exercises go for that muscle, we're looking at um, exercises like push-ups where abduction is you have true abduction or protra protraction of the scapula without any rotation. So you're looking at, they're also known as serratus push-ups um, because the serratus and the pectoralis minor will work together during these. But whenever you push up, you come up to the top, but that little extra that pushes you through, just that little movement, you're going to get the pectoralis minor. These are also called serratus push-ups. Okay, it's just like a slight shoulder movement for your push-up. Okay, and then we're also looking at dips for the pectoralis minor because you get that abduction and then it depresses. So if you put your hands on two surfaces and you push yourself up while pu pushing your hands down, you'll get that depression of the scapula. So I hope you guys have learned something. I hope you're able to pass this on to friends or share the video with a friend just to give them a little more information, possibly maybe even try it in your own program. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post it below and please feel free to pass it on with the share. So see you guys next time. Thanks everybody.